All right, we're back. The saga continues. Yeah. Uh, Retro, the people have spoken, and they well, demand more Gerald. I love Gerald, and I love the people. So this is, I think, a match made in heaven. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we have a whole lot to say. We've already introduced Lunacid. Uh, I'm Val, they, them. This is Retro. They, them. Yo. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get to mining our past to fuel our future with a bit more Loon Acid. I've been thinking about this genuinely all week. It kind of fell off for me. I, I sort of thought that this would be a one and done. I am very happy that people were excited with this, and I think that we had a lot of fun last time. Uh, so I'm excited to continue this. Uh, also, I need to update you on what I did to get us here. Wonderful. Uh, so for starters, I already made our boy. Uh, Gerald, yeah. Shinobi. The Shinobi. Uh, might have ground a few levels out. Left him in the hyperbolic time chamber for a while. Cool. Um, I found this neat sickle. Ooh. We'll go over that. Uh, but yeah, cool. we I started a new game. And now we can talk to people. That's, That's pretty wild. Bold, even. Uh, which means that we can go over here and talk to Cheryl Crow. Uh, and she's got a, a key that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this key. Probably. I don't understand, I guess, in general, fantasy commerce. But an enchanted key seems like it's real. It's a, such a bargain. At one. What do we know? What the currency is here? Uh. Other than the symbol. Yeah, that's that's all I got. Okay. Well, it's one currency, and a steel needle is 112. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But it seems like a good health vial. Also, seems pretty accessible. I don't know. But an enchanted key, I feel like. It is a gift for one fantasy shilling. Yeah, I don't know this for certain. But after the... After last week's stream, I started thinking, I was like, wait, do we actually need to go to that temple? And I started thinking of ways to like move around a bit, and there are some other places we can go. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, but I was kind of like, oh man... Maybe we didn't need to do this. Maybe we could do a conversationless run. Um, which I, I think you could probably do if that works, but we had already talked with Demi, so. I don't know. Um, but yeah, while we're here, we've got 192 currency. Do we want to pick something else out? These are weapons, and these are, you know, Use is items. a steel needle like a javelin or something? Like a pokey uh, boy? It is a strangely modified rapier with the guard removed. Though quick and agile, some defense mm. is sacrificed. Which, to be honest, I don't really block in this game. I just dodge. What is, what's backstep? Uh, I'm not totally sure. I believe that backstep is uh, a motion based attack. Got you. Okay. But yeah, do we want to pick any of these up? Do we just want to see what we find along the way? I don't think that there's a wrong answer here. Hmm. I mean... I don't want to be frivolous, but I feel like a steel needle could be fun. Yeah. We can always purchase it, and if we don't like it, we just don't use it. The uh, One of the cool things about this game is that it gives you new weapons pretty regularly. Yeah. And we... you will just find one that you like, and there will be quite a few that are situational, and then there are some that you just never use. Mm. Do we need a health file? Do we have one currently? We do have one. Uh, I always, uh, a couple. in any game, I pretty much, like, 
you always have, I, in theory, right? You always have one. I always like to carry two because what if I use one and then I don't have it? You know what two. I mean? Now we're good. All right. Perfect. Uh, I think we will head out after that. Got to come over here. Uh, I did max out the experience for the sword, so I'm going to show you what happens when you use the uh, oil. When you dip it in the blacksmith juice? Yeah. It asks you if you want to enhance it. You say yes. Bam. We have a heritage sword now. So let's look at that. Uh, a steel longsword typically given to castle guard. Though the castle fell long ago, these swords remain a t as a testament to the quality of the royal armory and have been passed down for generations. Mm. We got some pretty significant stat increases. I believe the sword originally was like six damage. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely better than the ice sickle that I found. And it's definitely better than the steel needle. Sure. So wait, the heritage sword was the the stone one it's right? the uh, one that we found in the beginning the uh yeah, yeah, it was originally like the replica La sword. right <laughs> gotcha. the what okay yes that's it uh so we'll start with this i didn't talk much about this but uh one of the things that is a little different with the combat is you can see how long this is taking to charge up this one is a little quicker because it's a smaller weapon which is something else to consider when you are picking your weapon, that and also reach. Uh, so I kind of... I say that this game's combat is nothing spectacular, but there is a lot of fine details. And if you want to play with it, I think that there's some interesting stuff here. It's just that this is based on a game that was kind of trying to do the Ultima... Sort of dungeon crawlery thing, but with you know live action, it's kind of hard to do really captivating combat. Right. Okay, so we have we got some work to do. Uh, our beautiful babies have forty five points to spend on different oh my skills. God. Oh my god, I am going to go wrestle some beautiful babies over here real quick who are wrestling in the hallway. Uh oh There's a lot of wrestling, so I'm gonna bring them in the room and close the door. One second. Yeah. Hey, chat. How you doing? How's your day going? Oh, I hear the corralling. Sorry about that, you know? Welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry you woke up too early, you. I am kind of hungover, but oh. we are getting close to the point where you burn through it and feel really good for a while. Mm. So I will uh, be sleepy tonight and hopefully get a good night's sleep because we've been having a lot of really bad thunderstorms and tornadoes where I live, oh, which makes it hard to sleep. Okay. So, we have 45 points. <laughs> yeah, we, yes. Uh, so, most of these are pretty straightforward. Uh, as you upgrade them, it'll tell you what each thing does and let you know, like, this is how it modifies your stats. Mm -hmm. We chose a Shinobi, but like I said earlier, like, this is a game that very much allows you to just go ham on all stats mm -hmm. and it it does it in a way that I think is really fun and engaging where games like the Elder Scrolls series I kind of dislike because I find it very um, very odd that the nation's best fighter is also the best wizard is also the best thief is yeah. also the best assassin I really uh, I like to think that it's like you're the best guy who can use shield good and all you did was walk away from your computer for like 10 hours and you just rubber banded the controller so you just like shielded against a bear all night. Exactly. Like, I feel like like I feel like that's the Elder Scrolls experience where you're like, "Well, I am the best." You know? Yeah. 
Oh, good luck with your outdoorsy things on Secret Crush. Uh, but yeah, like, we, I don't think that we need to stick to the whole thing of like, oh, I, I do appreciate that they made shinobis pretty vulnerable, uh, yeah. because I hate when they make ninjas a one-person army. Yeah. Uh, but we could also just crank that up. I feel like I would love, um... I recognize it's a shinobi, but also there's going to be times where I'm be like, go, you got to go hit it. Um, so we might be aggroing more than we should. So I feel like maybe he gets a, a security blanket with the defense, but nothing wild. And then I worry about putting too much in speed because will that make it difficult for all of us to consume it with our eyeballs? No, I, eventually, yes, but I will put a cap on it before while? that happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, usually I'm at, like, at level 50, you can outrun most enemies. So even okay. if something aggro's to you, you just beat Cheeks and get out of there. That's fair. I would, I, why don't we just put, like, we're still like an infant what if we just do a little uh, a little sprinkling right now so we just become durable in every sense and then we can start dumping into things okay so let's say uh... a little sprinkle especially if we're going to continue to get skill points anyways right yeah we will i believe you get three points per level uh and I've been grinding out in the starting area, so one, we are going to be overpowered, but two, we will, we will be getting much more experience shortly. True. Uh, how, do, how do we feel about intelligence? Do we want to use magic? Do we want to hold off on that for a bit? We got 12 points left. We do have 12 points left. I say we do six points in each. That works. That resistance? Um, yeah. I'm happy I with always, this. So, I like joke that like, I play most games like I'm playing Mr. John Halo and I'm just running forward and shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, I, I, I play like the Titan or like, what, like I'm always do, I'm doing the hit. And I'm usually like a meat shield. But I always like, am enticed by magic and I'm like, oh, be so nice to hang back and like magic missile fireball i never do it but i like the idea i like that i could but will i allow myself that's the true the true question. i think you need to play Lune acid because this is a game that allows you to do both i uh, immediately downloaded it last week <laughs> i'm gonna save uh, and get us back out into the world. Alright, so let's see how different this feels. Uh, yeah, there's a pretty notice noticeable speed difference. There's a massive difference in how high we Whoa. can jump. Uh, so... I was talking about maybe we didn't have to... go to the temple. Mm. I think we could check out up there if we wanted. I mean, we got mad ups now. We do have mad ups. Um, let's crack these up. Let's see if we can replenish our funds a bit. Well, got some ash. Uh, we just saved, so let's give this a shot. There, we did it. Uh, so let's see. We've got a door here. Let's see where this takes us. Can we... Um, in Lunacid, I know you have the hand that got chorped off and it's you and it's, it, I think it's a really, um, clever way to like deal with like a custom character, but like you don't know what that character looks like, you know? Mm -hmm. I do think it's very clever, but the fact that it's a gross dead hand, I'm like, can we get a glove? Yeah. Can you, can you accessorize? We are, uh, very much corpse looking. Yeah. Uh, I don't I mean, remember. Granted, what while you, while you're exploring, I'm not looking at it, but I do know it's there. Yeah. You know? Oh, right. Now we're in the library with music by Thor High Heels. Is that a piece of paper floating? Yes. 
Uh, so the particles oh, okay, this area. for this area is just floating paper. Uh, there are a lot of books. We got some snails down there. We'll check that out shortly, but first things first, I'm going to activate our bonfire. Quick save. Oh no. Oh goodness. The pups don't like books. area. Look. Does it fly at you? Or does it open? Uh, it does not... It might aggro me. Maybe it doesn't. But I need XP. Oh, it's the Necronomicon. Uh, fortunately, we have a fire spell. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Fire, Opal! some crafting stuff that we probably will not use. So this area always threw me off uh, because I look at these assets and I'm just like, it's so weird how they are bent and warped and yeah. just look wrong. Especially when there are other ones right next to it that are just perfectly normal. Are they bent intentionally? I believe that they are. I don't know if there's a purpose to it? Like, is there a gotcha. more reason for why this is a thing, but... Hmm. We are very lucky to have a fire spell. Don't shoot at me. It's really rude. It's very rude. I don't know, when you popped into this this area and made me think of, have you seen the, the people running the Another Crab's Treasure like TikTok is hilarious. They're like, oh, we've, if it's too bright and colorful, we've changed it to look more like souls like games you're familiar with. And yes. then they're like, and then they're like, fuck it, Ornolando's here. And it's just the little hermit crab running up the stairs. Yeah, that crew has a really good sense of humor. Mm hmm. Oh, Ooh. Kind of elixir. Is that an interactable statue, or is it just a gold statue that we got from the front? Oh, it's incense. It is just a little incense burner. Uh, it is not destructible. Okay. But it's worth checking because there are some things out here that are destructible and will give you neat things, like money. That's great. Ooh, okay, did that light turn on, like, because of proximity, or... I think it just spawned in. Uh, okay. Sometimes that will happen with this game. Uh, sure. I don't know if it has to do with how I have set draw distance or anything. Mm. All right, we'll go down in a minute. I know that there is a secret wall here. There we go. A little bit of environmental storytelling. We've got a corpse here, health potion. I wonder what happened. Try to stay alive to read all the books. What a fool. There's always more books. You can't ever be done. Right, so this is going to be a little spooky because I know that there are uh, some enemies here that I don't really want to run into. Mm. Uh, but we're probably going to... Do they do they pop in or pop up, pop down? Uh, we'll we'll be able to see them, but uh, if we can I see feel them, like that means they the way can you're see talking us. about it. It makes me think I don't know what the enemy is, but the the Elden Ring hands, like the hand things that like fall down on you. All I can think of are wall masters. Basically that. Oh, that's a nightmare. I don't like it. I have actually stopped exploring an Elder Ring because I was like, I can't deal with this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's back to the entrance. But okay, I want to go I down. Love a little. I love a little. 
Oh, spikes on the bottom roof. Okay, cool. Yeah, they don't mess around with this one. I hate to see what their late fees are. Yeah, it's, it's serious. I was like, is that the enemy? But it's uh, no. the, one of the pearlescent boys. Oh. But we get a couple spells here. I, I love getting my jewelry from the library. Yeah. So we got Blood Drain. It's a simple form of blood magic. Rather than hurting one's enemies, it simply sprays them with blood. Does it spray them with your blood, though? So does it drain your health? Uh, it does. It does use your health. Uh, so all blood magic will require health to cast, as opposed to your mm -hmm. mana. Which I think is a neat little way yeah. to do it. It it's a thing that like both makes sense and also I don't know I, I, there are definitely some strong blood spells but by and large I'm like this would be a really cool way to be like oh the blood magic is really strong and like the risk is it costs your health to do it mm -hmm. but it's it's just kind of a handful of spells I believe blood drain is going to be something we need to navigate the world Reveal surrounds the target of the caster. Surrounds the target of the caster in light to reveal its attributes. A complex light spell used by the scouts during the crusades. I've never really used this. Uh, I've mostly just uh, taken this as like, oh, this is a uh, little bit of more building. I'm going to attack these real quick just in case. Uh, we also you're got playing that. keyboard and mouse, right? We did what? You're, you're playing keyboard and mouse, so is your equipment, like your mana, or, yeah, your mana refill and antidote and stuff, is that just the number keys? It is actually, so, it's kind of strange. Hello my there. one and three key cycles through my use okay. items. The two key is use. Mm. C is the first spell slot, and B is the second spell slot. Got you. Love it. Uh, it's, it's a little weird. Uh, you will eventually get used to it. Alright, we got a weird door here. Excited, jazzy tone for a library. Mm -hmm. Alright. Can we look at that painting? Yeah. It's kind of hard to make out. A little pixelated. Yeah, but I love the... Like, the contrast of how warm like orange and red it is with the, it, a little little baroque maybe with mm -hmm. the, the dark figure but then you have these like greenish tinted stones i don't know it, like it it feels like it belongs there which seems silly to say but um it really like caught my eye when you were going through the area yeah i i think that a lot of attention is paid to the environments in this game mm -hmm. uh things feel pretty cohesive and coherent uh, this is what I meant. This is what I don't want to deal with. Is it a, is it a chimera? It is a chimera. Uh, Hate it. Part of its body does something different. Uh, yeah. The, oh no! Don't talk to me. Just run. Uh, so much like Dragon's Dogma, each part of that chimera's body does something different. Like I think the snake poisons you, the lion is just a physical attack, and I think the goat casts magic. So if you kill one part of it, it takes that action away. Another lovely little ping. Oh yeah, we can set. There's another one. Make 
our way. I think this is where we want to be. Here we go. Greetings, young traveler. You must be a historian as well. I hope this library has exceeded your expectations as it did mine long ago. Many unwanted books found their way into the Great Well over the ages. There are even cursed black books that couldn't be burned or destroyed, but were soaked in ink to remove their incantations. I am quite fond of these, like all knowledge deemed forbidden. I am able to interpret the subtle scratches left behind. If you happen upon any cursed black books, please bring them to me. I will reward you with the arcane knowledge held within. So yeah, Daedalus has a bunch of these black books, and we can find some of them out in the world. If we bring them to him, we get powerful magics. This feels very... soulsy. Yes. <laughs> or I should just say, from softy. Yes. Uh, I also like the the environmental storytelling of these black books, but then they're also like the burning that they like, can't be destroyed, but also kind of looks like it like it's definitely like heat or something emanating from them that that made that those smoke streaks. I don't know. Like it's good details. Yeah. yeah. Uh, snails are friends. They can also be enemies, depending upon how you play it. Uh, I think the black books are one of the coolest things in this game. Just the idea of something so powerful it can't be destroyed, so to contain it, they just dip it in ink and make it so that nobody can read it. Mm. Uh, that's just a really fascinating fantasy idea. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, dead department. Snails are friends, not food. I think this has a... I don't remember too much about this space. So it's going to be interesting trying to get out of here. Uh, this game does not oh, have... Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, that's bad. Right. What is this? So these are the light points. Uh, they occupy certain parts of the library. Extremely resistant to a lot of different types of damage. Fortunately, sword is not in its fight. But there's three of them. Oh but God. there is three of them, and they have ranged attacks. Smack them, scrim. Oh my God, is that a full one? Me. Yeah, uh, they're pretty gross. They're Apparently, also... they can't hear us in chat. The game oh, got no. wild. Let us turn the game Here's down. Music big. Game oh, wow. is a lot louder than the gamers. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that somehow went back to uh, full. So hopefully that is better. Yes. I think it was okay before we went down the elevator, running from... I feel like that's when I noticed that it got louder. But I, I felt like it was louder. I actually uninstalled this game to make space for some other stuff and then reinstalled it. And I think that that just reset my mixer to be full volume. Uh, but yeah, these things are a pain in the butt. They're super creepy. The first time I ran into them, I did not have good weapons equipped. Oh, the combat sounds. Let's take a look at that. Uh, well, we have game volume. Uh... 
we will just have to play with it. We have like overall volume and uh, music volume. So let us know if it is still messed up. We will tweak that. Okay, that is good. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna take out oh. this enlightened There's one. There's a pulsating target from uh, Zelda Temple on the wall that's oozing purple. Yep. Uh, those shoot things it with are an actually arrow. very good. We love to see those. What I don't love to see are all these light arrows smacking me in the face. And I died. No! Come back. Rip. Uh, alright, so... As we talked about last time, uh, this game does not autosave. Uh, so mm. I'm gonna run through really quick and hit that door. But I think maybe we go explore somewhere else. Maybe we start with the temple. Sorry about you died. Always be saving. I feel like those enlightened one fellers are like really strong for how early we are in the game. Uh, I also think that you are not supposed to uh... be here. It's not that you're not supposed to be here. I should change that. Oh, actually. Um. But I do think that this is a thing that you are supposed to kind of, like, puzzle out that it's a thing that you can do. Mm. Uh, because going to the temple is a very clear path. You get this, you know, cute, cheap little key for one currency. You see it right from the start. It's, like, it's a very clear path. But the idea that there is, like, a crumbled staircase I think for a lot of people would just indicate like oh that's storytelling you're not supposed to actually go there right excuse me I have to put on the there we go okay We also know that Daedalus is there, so we can come back when we find a black book. That's warp. Yeah, that's a pretty... There are a few places we probably should have gone before. Okay. Always be saving. Is everybody hydrating is. today? Because it's important. I'm, I'm recovering. I'm trying. I think this is the path. Tea does, counts. Tea's part water. Tea count? Yeah. Godspeed, Hinton. Uh, so hey, quick content warning. We're gonna oh, do I something really it. gross with this eye. Oh. I'm also going to equip stuff. Uh, I'm I upset. Yeah, this is not great. Icky. Alright, you can come back. Honestly, not as horrible as I thought it was going to be, but it's still, I would say, not enjoyable. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty gross, but there's not like screaming or anything too Just awful. like a splooshy sound, which is also you could argue might be worse. Could be. Uh this place is pretty dark, so I'm going to equip a torch. All right, everybody pretend like we didn't go here last time and be really uh creeped spooked out yeah. by the uh right. The atmosphere. I'm waiting for some droggers to come out now. Well, 
plenty of locations for Draugr's to just be resting. Plenty of alcoves. Yeah, so when you first come in here, you've got these guys here. If you ever played Demon Souls, I feel like this is very reminiscent of the uh, top area of your hub, where there are just a bunch of monks sitting. Got a lot of closed gates. We gotta find one that's not closed. Will our torch die? It will not. Okay, I do uh, love that. Yes, this is very nice. So we read this. Uh, the idea that these monks were working with Abdul. Uh, mm. And it sure looks like things didn't work out well. rubbing my face all over everything. Uh, yeah, Ritual Dagger. Okay, so now we are on the other side. Drop down. Come over here. We find this thing. And I like it because there is no explanation for what this thing is. It looks you like a finger have... in a shell with another finger, and I hate it! Yeah, it's pretty awful. Uh, actually, maybe this does. To hunger is to live. To consume is mm. to die. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a thing where we just kind of, like, don't know what this is, but it gives us real awful vibes. And we open this up, and we get my favorite spell in the game, Lithomancy. Uh, which, if you remember, just brings inanimate objects to life. Yes. And all they can do is scream. Alright, let's put it out of its misery. Uh oh, ashes. God, that's really. It's. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, I. So this was actually created by somebody in Kira's Discord. And they were like, yes, I love this. I, I just like the idea of there being people in the world who are messing around with magic and just creating things that are not useful or helpful, but just mm -hmm. are kind of nightmare fuel. And it yeah. coming from like this bizarre cult, that makes I mean, so like, much sense. You kinda... I would assume if you have to descend into, like, a pit of existence, like, sometimes you just, like, yes, you have to survive, but sometimes you just gotta do something fun, you know? Yeah. Do something for you. This one's for the girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, some money. It appears the brain was removed, but the wounds were inflicted within the skull itself. It looks like the brain carved its own way out. Which, uh, coming from the library, we kind of have some idea of how those enlightened ones might have been made. Unfortunately, Gerald's pretty strong. I don't think have much of a problem here. Oh, one of the nice things about magic is that it does uh, area-specific damage, so it can, you know, uh, take off layers. Cool. You said with magic? Yes. Certain types of magic, like when you have a burning effect, like we right. just had. It can help you by taking off some of the baddest limbs. There's 
the shard. That's our little homeward bone. If things break bad, we can always go back to Wing's Rest. There we go. Blood Strike. Okay. I'm gonna swap out Lithomancy. Oh, Gerald needs to uh, meet his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. We haven't actually gotten there yet, though. Okay. We Are, it's the, in this uh, area, though, right? Uh, it's in the sewers, which I think is a couple areas down. Okay. Uh, a weaponized form of blood magic. Some warriors sought these forms of magic to rely on their own vitality rather than magic power. Yeah. I'll take that. I do like the the sound for contact with the sword. Yeah, I haven't said anything, but uh there's actually some blood wine, so if we were a vampire we would be able to uh drink that for health there are critical points which is what the little you noise you're hearing is uh, it's an indication that you've hit a critical weak point and then there's just a standard thump you got yep. hit in here trying to raid their temple and they're being massive jerks about it okay there's yep. one of those eyes uh, so the first time I found one of these eyes I was really unsure what to do I was really scared because I was just like man I have no health I have no heals what what is yeah. this and it is a mirage that oh. loops you back. It reveals like a hidden wall and takes you back to the start of the area or another part of the map. So, would you have been able to find that wall previously or is it like a, it only responds to being stabbed? With the it only responds to being hit and you cannot find it from the other side. Got you. Uh, and I think that this is one of Kira's draw distance tricks, um, because there's actually a place. Oh, shield. Okay, there's a book here, so let's take this way out. Uh, there's actually a place where you would be able to see one, hmm. but I think that it is just so far away it doesn't spawn in to prevent you from being able to uh, hit it early. Long ago, I heard tales of Abdul and his temple, how they managed to reach enlightenment and escape. But they're still here, or at least their bodies are. Spooky. Okay, we should go find that VHS tape, and then, uh, go find Jalisha. Jalisha! time I find a dead end room I'm just like there has to be a secret wall here where is it okay here we go I don't, I don't 
like it when they crawl. They're not great. Very uh, unsettling. You know what? Let's heal. Let's do a safety heal. Safety heal. Probably would be fine, but I would feel very foolish if I died again. Yeah, I feel that. Alright, so while we're doing this, uh... You're still on Twitter, right? Me? I... yes. Better or for worse. Yep, that's how it's always been. Uh, have you been following the post series of, like, the game, the three inspirations? Yes. That has been pretty cool. Have you seen anything new or any, like, people that you thought stood out? So, actually, um, I'm gonna pull it up because I can't remember the, the one game. I can't remember the name, but that's just my brain. You know when you can see the, the 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 game art cover, and then you're like, yes, that one, but you can't think of the name. Oh no, that's super that's crush. Me. I'm sorry. But um, uh, Francine Bridge, who was the creative director for Slave Zero X, mm -hmm. did it, and so of course you have Slave Zero. Right. Um, and then a game, which. I had not heard of called Cannon Dancer, huh. I which know, I guess that. in some regions, I actually looked it up because I was like, what is this? Um, it was called Osman in some regions, uh, and it's like a side-scrolling brawler, but the character art, it looks fantastic. And and then Hagane by Hudson Soft is the other instrument, which is what I could not remember the syllable. Um, so I really liked that. Um, somebody just put um, Banjo-Kazooie on like all three of them, which I thought was very funny yep. for their game. Um, but uh, someone else who's doing, uh, what what are they making? Myster the Mysterious Forest DX. Uh, which has like Link's Awakening, Dark Souls, and then another game. I can't remember what was on it, but that also caught my eye. Oh, it was Mort Mort, who I love as a game dev, did Banjo Kazooie, and it's just all Banjo Kazooie, all four images. Um, and then uh, another one, the last one I'll, I'll call out is another Crab's Treasure, because they call out Dark Souls, Sekiro, and then Donkey Kong 64. Which I was like, even as a joke, if that's a joke, it still fits. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been really liking that that trend right now. Yeah, I am really hoping that this gets uh, more people, I don't know, interested, involved with, thinking about playing indie games. Because uh, I'm very tired of AAA uh bullshit mm -hmm. and like just beyond that i don't find a lot of the things that AAA industries put out to be that interesting sure um i just feel like they hamper the people who are making it and then immediately kick them to the curb mm -hmm. and i'm just like you have really like, smart and talented people working there just let them do their thing let them make cool stuff yeah but if the numbers don't always go up, it's or bad. It, it does, and then they're like, but it could go up more if we got rid of everybody. Yeah. If the, like, fake inflation is bad. I, you know, like, I work in video games and do, like, contract work, and so what is freeing about that is I have uh, freedom to have options, right? So, like, I could have a few eggs in a basket instead of just one basket. Mm -hmm. But also, like, the, all those baskets are small. And now yeah. I'm like, do I just... Do I find... Do, do I just bartend? And then I can, like, be a dev on my... Like, is that the, the sustaining thing where I'm like, okay... 
I want something that's like low lift so I'm not like burnt out in front of a computer all day so I can like work on my stuff or stuff with my friends because the industry can't is like crumbling and it has to be rebuilt you know what I mean yeah um, it's I feel like it's a really weird spot yeah there <clears throat> was a period I'm sure there was stuff for other systems, but I had a PlayStation. I was a PlayStation kid. Mm -hmm. But there was a period where... Ooh, we got a nice spear spell. Ooh. Um, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, where companies were just letting people make weird little experimental games. Mm -hmm. And they were never going to be super profitable. They were never going to be massive successes they were never going to be like the next hit series yeah but we got so many cool ideas and different like, different ways of thinking about engaging with games through that mm -hmm. and i just think about how that is completely ignored now and if it totally. is done like i know ubisoft tries to be like oh we have our indies and it's just kind of like ah it really just kind of feels like you are trying to do this for good press as opposed to and your indies are like cool games that you don't put enough funds into so they're like half baked sometimes hmm. it's 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 just really frustrating to see stuff like that yeah because... but then you have like you do have developers like uh those making like anton blast because like of course we want more like wario games like they're weird and fun and it, they're like very much leaning into that Mm -hmm. But, like, even as someone in the industry, I, I don't, like, their their success and support that they're finding is fantastic, and I love it, and want more of that for them and others, but, like, I just don't know how things are sustainable anymore in this current model. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I don't think, like, a lot of people like to, you know, blame the pandemic because there was the, the swell of hiring but I really think we would be here regardless I think I think we just got here delayed you know yeah because all those games got delayed and now that those things are hitting like Hi-Fi Rush not a game for me but so many people loved it like I can't believe that studio closed and they were I saw that they were working on it like five hours before shutdown yeah like they had I'm... no idea I'm kind of worried about Ninja Theory because uh, Sinua, the new Sinua Sacrifice is coming out soon mm -hmm. and I haven't seen any sort of marketing for it and so part of me is like are they going to just put this out and then immediately yeah. end the studio? Yeah, I feel like there was so much marketing around the announcement of it. There it is. And then quiet. I just want everyone to be happy and do what they love, you know, and like be able to like feed their families. Like, that's it. That'd be cool. Right? Uh, you know what? Let's fight this uh, slime boy. Wait, what is happening here? Oh, it, okay. I thought it was someone who had their arms up like he had fallen over. Uh, it's just a slime devil, apparently. Spewing. Ah, yes, of Don't course. Get me. It's also weird to, like, you know, like the gaming whole, like, not even the economy, just the ecosystem, right? Like, you got, you got indies everywhere, but you have a lot of indies on PC because it's probably smaller teams and porting is not gr fun and it's accessible for, like, newer devs or devs with small budgets. Um, but then you have, like, a bunch of wildly cool stuff happening on Itch, but it's such small scale oftentimes because it's, like, you know, passion projects for people. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's great, but, like, uh -oh. I would love someone to pay me so I can fuel, just pay me to pay others, you know? And that I can, like, have food in my fridge. Um... Let's redistribute wealth. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I could make some good decisions for us all. You know? <laughs> Vote for me. 
Yeah, it's, uh... Well, they don't seem happy. You know, I've been watching the our, our rat friends, and they're not as excited about us as last time. So yeah. I do find that really interesting that we did have just like some rat buds that would follow us. But I am kind of curious if uh, we just happen to wrangle a couple and move in the right pattern. Yeah. I mean, that rat's not happy. No. But I don't know if that rat's ever happy. Buddies. No! Yikes. Oh, we Seems are bleeding. Bad. I think that thing's gonna follow you. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, see? It's stuck on a dead body. Oh, no! Parkour! This, is, get out this is why we put points in the speed and decks. Honestly, the way those enlightened ones done... Oh, my God. Done gotcha. I'm like, we need to have a little bit more defense. Just the way they were melting us. I was like, yikes. Yeah. To be fair, they are using a magic uh, attack, and I think that we're kind of vulnerable to that. Yeah. I also realized when I was grinding yesterday, I was just like, oh, I only have five defense. That's why I got my butt beat when we did the first stream, because I'm used to playing like a knight or a thief and having right. a bit of protection. But no. Wait, you were just running around wearing cardboard. If that. Right. I think that this will take us to the upper level of the fetid mire, and then we might be able to find a new area. But we gotta keep our eyes out for, uh... Oh, this is the entrance. Oh god! Oh my god! You gotta save, though. We should, we should probably kill this guy. Oh. Nope. Damn. I'm gonna run away to run at you. Uh, the cool thing about bleeding, even though it does a lot of damage, it uh, is not permanent loss. You can Ooh, regain that's it exciting. if you don't like, that's take cool. damage. I see the meter. I was just about to ask before you said something. Uh, do I have enough? Oh I my have god! Enough. I didn't realize that the rats on the giant rat are like in it, like it's grafted together, not like they were like swarming on him. Yeah. Hey. Uh. You might have noticed that there were a bunch of rat kings down there. The yep. one with all the rats together. Uh, yeah. I do think we probably have enough experience to level up. Yeah, we got four levels. Right? Let's let's do just like a little bit in that defense. <laughs> so we're smacking. Second five? Yeah. All right. Where do we want to put the rest? Um... Well, we've been doing a little bit of magic. Yeah bump that up. Yeah, just like a, We don't have to be super smart, but just like a bit. I got two points left. Well, if we use them, then it won't be on an increment of five, and my That's brain true. will break. No, I don't care. Uh, oh, we do have to use them. I was going to say we don't have to. Uh, when in doubt? Yep. When in doubt, smash. Out. Okay. I think we're on the upper level, maybe. That's that's a closed gate. That's not gonna help us. River passage. I would love to go to the river. Uh, behind us is a dead end. I think I've been taking the secret path. No, I'm not. Uh, oh, wait, there was a question mark. Yeah, this is uh, that room where we got the ice spear spell. Oh, okay. So the door is closed. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a place down below that will take us back up. We just have to figure out where it is. Mm. 
uh, oh yeah, I started talking about this a little bit earlier. This game doesn't have maps, but I also, like, one, it would be super beneficial, and I know that the community has made maps for different areas, but I also think that this goes into things that, like, our buddy Robot Spacer does, where he makes maps and charts out the areas of his game. <laughs> that feels very much like a... What are you doing? Uh, a retro game thing. Uh, Absolutely. Like, either not thinking of including it, or not being sure how to put it in, or being concerned that by having it in, it ruins part of the game. Uh, yeah, here we go. We're up top. I think, like, so I, I think about this frequently, because I like... I love Robot Spacer streams, and I love... Uh, I love the gamer notebook. Yes. Uh, um, like, I love having notes in a thing, and it's kind of like a little bit of a journal through a title or titles. Um, but then I, you know, I think about games that are like, oh, you can, like, do annotations within the game. Mm -hmm. And it's always clunky and feels bad in games, at least, that I have experienced it in. And I feel like that also takes me out of it a little bit like i recognize my role as the player like not within the monitor space you know mm -hmm. what I mean? does that make sense i think so like it's fourth wall breaking maybe a little bit for me to be like oh let me write this note in this game but i can see that being like a quality of life thing yeah like uh, maybe on like the d the 3ds or ds that makes sense because of how that interface is and how games can be made ex like explicitly for that handheld, then it would it, hypothetically would make more sense to me. But like, I just if I'm starting a game, like if I didn't know about Lunacid, and I was like, oh, I picked up this game, I want there to be a Steam thing that just says you might want a gamer notebook. Like you don't need it to play it, you don't need it to enjoy it, but like. Like, the amount of times where I've been like, you know, like, I didn't need this, but it would have been cool to, like, have that as a journal through a game. Yes. I think about it. So, like, I just think it should be a, a, a toggle switch on the Steam, the Steamworks backend. Be like, gamer notebook. Indulgence. You know? <laughs> we can make a curator list of games that benefit gamer notebooks. Yeah. Yeah, I... Also agree with you. I think uh, I like having a physical thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also have you can played... also write notes faster in real life than on a game. I don't care what it is. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I... Is it keyboard. I mean, I guess you could like squirt, like circle on a map, like if you had like a stylus type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think more games need map annotations. Those are just good. Um, yeah, I was actually really impressed with Breath of the Wild initially when they, you had, like, different types of things or abilities to highlight on the map. So you And there was different symbols, so you could, like, make up your... Like, it wasn't... Uh, like, you and I could use the map totally differently, but mm -hmm. use it, like, absolutely, like, functionally and, like... You could, we could share it with each other. We'd be like, okay, these are points of interest. And depending on how we used it, we could probably suss out what the other person was highlighting. And I think that was really, really smart. Yeah. Good I, job, Nintendo. Good job. You That's did your it. one. That's the one you get. Um, I use map annotations a ton when I play Blasphemous 2. Hmm. But it's like you said, there, there are a bunch of different symbols, but none of them are clearly a thing. So even around that, I had to create my own little language of like, remember, red means this, this means this, and there are some that kind of work, like there's a cherub face, and like, oh, that's where the cherubs are. Oh, it's Bonard. Oh, my sickly sweet candy melt. My viscous strawberry dewdrop. Hey, my love for you was ever porous, and alas, it has been drained. My heart has been my heart has found another. Our bony fingers clutch each together. 
or clutch Bonard. each other. Bonard. Bonard. You couldn't deliver this? Uh, I mean, we don't have to. No, I think we should. Well, we, we give her bad news and then we can date her. I have a bone to pick with Bonard, but don't leave your lady all alone. She's worried that you're dead. Not that you're with another. Yeah, I'm, that I'm, That wasn't even I'm like a text. That was just a book left on the floor. Alright, I gotta remember how to get back to her, and I do not remember how. You know what, buddy? You're, Alicia! you're good. Hang out there. Okay. We're on the floor, which means that we are close to where she's at. Wind dash. I wonder if this ever got fixed. Is there? Yeah. Look, I don't want to fight you, but I will. Alright, fine. We have to deliver bad news. I do like watching them slowly crawl towards you, although on fire, that's like oddly satisfying, and I recognize that's kind of fucked up. I don't know. It's nice when uh, my enemies suffer. I'm, I'm pro that. Uh, we got an earth potion. Earth elixir, okay. Um, yeah, so occasionally oh. there are these earth and I believe ocean elixirs okay. they're healing items that will give you a permanent buff to either your okay. health or your mana I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one because yeah. we're kinda low on health and may as well uh, get an HP bonus out of it. Some juice! I love that right, Where does this bear put us at? I'm pro juice Juice I don't care is who knows good. it. So I love like peach mango juice or mango peach juice, oh, depending on who's making it. Love it. That's the and I was at a brewery yesterday that they made a a sour with lactose sugars and then peach, mango, and then like a sweet tea. Okay. It was incredible. I was like, this is juice. Straight up juice. And I'm here for it. But I'm not allowed to have the juice in the house because I'm. this is um, enforced on myself by myself because I will drink all of it. I am trying to break myself. Well, let's talk to Julisha first. Did you find anything? Ooh, girl. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no! Jalisha. Oh, the uwu face in the wink. I appreciate characters who speak with emoticons. Uh, yeah. As long as it's not too excessive. Uh, I think yeah. my line is probably Susie from Killer Seven. Mmm. Oh, I didn't even think we would get the ring. I was curious, but I was just like, I love it that it's just like an adornment on her. Yeah, it's very cute. So let's see what she gave us. Slime Orb. Fires an orb of slime that does poison damage. Given as a gift by your adoring girlfriend, Jalisha. We're taken. Uh, all know? of us. All of Gerald. Yep. All the Geralds. This is a polyamorous relationship. You know what? I was just thinking, as Gerald is Gerald and Gerald is one of us now, I would love to hit, I would love to hit any level of um, being known where our Geralds like get fan art. So it's like, I don't know, uh, ukulele, but it's just a bunch of rats. It's just a bunch of rats rolling around. 
<laughs> yeah. Or it's like I don't even know. Sable, but it's the the main character in the the scarf headdress and the cool outfit, but then there's just rats coming out of the pants. Yeah, we have a whole list of games to play and uh, now I'm just kind of like, all right, but which ones can I make a character in? Yeah. Or at least name them. Or at least name them. Man, I do not... Okay. I've never played a, a Souls game, and you best believe Gerald will live on. Oh, yes. I just get hmm. Onion Knight's armor, and that's me now. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's... It's kind of the vibe. Kind of the vibe. Oh. oh. Somebody disagrees. I think we've been everywhere. Uh, except the exit. Yeah, that's the river passage. So this takes us back to the entrance. We should save. Okay, sorry. There's Good. gonna be a little bit of barking, but it's on the other side of the house. So now that... Do we get to fight Bonard? Do we get to f find him later somewhere? I don't think so, but I think that uh, we can just take it out on general skeletons. Okay. Alright. I didn't put it in uh, because I wanted to make other silly jokes, but in the character pack, the uh, like expansion of character portrait pack, uh, there are just a bunch of skeletons, so we could have been the, uh, replacement Bonard. Oh my god. You know what? Let's just check our level. We are not high enough. Very close, right. though. Okay. I'm trying to think else we can go to. I suppose we could go back to the library, do a bit more there. Uh, we could also take a break and I could find a map and find the next spot. I also think that the temple has another exit. Mm. But I'm not quite sure where it is. But I think... I'm looking up said maps, but I don't always know what I'm looking up. Where are we? We are in the fetid mire. Oh, I have it. I will send it to you, though, so you also have it. Appreciate it. It's everything. Uh, I love this. Oh, so this is what this is what gamer notebooks are for. Like this is incredible, and the fact that it's like community made too, it makes it even better. Yeah, there's something really nice about, like, a handmade map. The notes, I'm a bit more wiggly on, but I also think that that's because I played a bunch of games where I used Excel spreadsheets, mm. because that was just a better way to keep my data organized. Yeah. But, uh... I remember when I played Warcraft in, like, mid-2000s, or World of Warcraft, I should say. Like, I loved... I had, like, an old laptop and my newer one that I was playing World of Warcraft on, and then I had the old one. And this was, like, before, like, your quest gave you, a, like, a marker. Like, mm -hmm. I, I would be like, I have to go collect these five things. I don't know where these things are. So I would, like... I, I felt like a, a, a low-key adventurer where I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm in this, like... Uh, arid desert. Okay, I need these flowers. Where would I find them? And then I'd go on the internet and, like, it was definitely, like, forced anthropology of World of Warcraft, but I did love it. Yeah. I I think that that initial period of, like, learning about a game, mm -hmm. this is not where we want to be, is uh, always really fun. 
it's also uh, one of the games that comes up for me. Hold on a tick. Is what is it? The Long Dark? Yeah, The Long Dark. Uh, mm. Because it very much follows the rules of nature of like, if you see a bird or like a bunch of birds in the air, you can know that that is an indication that there's probably an animal corpse nearby. Right. Uh, and so that's using that to kind of know how to navigate the space is something very cool and something that I really enjoyed, but also it means that uh, you can kind of, as soon as you get that knowledge, you don't get to rediscover that stuff. It's just right. done. That's something I love about, um, like, kind of, it's kind of related, but why I love watching, like, Nina Marie play really anything, but I, I feel like it's very, very much apparent with, like, the Souls games is, like, no backseating, doesn't want any content or context. Definitely. Or to her, um... And I think that's very cool. Sorry, the dogs were barking and was breaking up my, 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 my thoughts. But I always thought that was really interesting. You know, like, if the game hasn't explicitly told me something, I don't know it unless I investigate it. And I haven't been prompted to investigate this issue yet. Yeah. So I thought that was always, like, very insightful. I, uh, am currently watching Kim Chika do a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Mm. And her community is really good because she will have questions about mechanics because D and D is complicated. Sure. Uh, but then she will just be like, "So what's this thing?" And everybody will just be like, "I don't know. Don't worry about it. Why are you worrying about it?" And just like they know when to give information that is important and necessary, mm -hmm. and when to just shut down, even though. We all know that, like, oh, this is going to be super exciting when she yeah. finds this thing. Yeah, her community is really great. Her Kim Chica is really great. Yeah. Share, like, subscribe. We love Kim, Ke Ch Kim Chica. Blah. Can't talk. Yeah. She Chica runs uh, Geeks and Grounds, which is just a really cool game book club kind of thing. Play a game each month and then get together at the end of the month to talk about it. It's, it's you really You do fun. it? Yeah. Nice. I've been, I've been wanting to. I've just been so bad at imbibing games mm -hmm. that I, I, it's like I should do this because I will be better at imbibing. But then also, I don't have time to imbibe. So how would <laughs> I don't want to not participate? You know. Yeah. Um, boy, Are we lost? I sure don't think that this is this map is right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Geeks and Grounds has been really good about putting out some pretty digestible games. Nothing super long. Mm. Mostly things that aren't too hard. But uh, this month's game is Hyperlight Drifter. And I think that this is the first game that I'm like, oh, there's like, this is a game with some teeth. And okay. that has been... So they're doing some older games, too. Yeah. Uh, well, we've... I didn't know if it was just, like, a, a way to do some, like, contemporary releases. It, it gets mixed up. Uh, so cool. this is their second year of doing it, and they started off the year doing a poll. I'm just going to get out of here. I think we're going to go explore somewhere else, and I'll figure out the exit situation later. Uh, but they did a where people submitted games that they thought would be fun. They picked six. The community picked six uh, games. Cool. And then there are six question mark games. So those will probably be either games that come out this year or games that are picked by Kim Chica or Joel, who is the co-host. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Hyperlight Drifter was uh, one of the suggestions. and That's awesome. It has been I need to go really back to fun. it, actually. Because um, I was trying to play it uh, keep keyboard and mouse at one point. I was like, oh, I need a controller. This is... Oh, yeah. This is a twin boy. Um, but, like, Heart Machine is, is incredible. And yeah. 
I've been creeping on them recently for things, and their team is huge now. Yeah. I, uh... I mean, that makes sense since they have the, the new game coming out, Hyper Light. Breaker. Thank you. Yeah, it's my, been very My brain cool only wanted to say Smash. <laughs> Hyper Light Smasher. Now that's a different game. Yeah. Yeah, it's been very cool to see them grow. I am a little nervous them being under Gearbox, but I think that as mm -hmm. long as they have control of their production and titles, things will be fine. Yeah, every publishing agreement and things can be so different that it's hard to say from the outside how much is actually like retained by totally. the, the team. Oh, these bastards! Get out of here! Thank you. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to tell, and like recently. Risk of Rain 2 was signed over. They they were published under Gearbox, but now it is Gearbox's game. Oh, and I, I didn't know that. I have a lot of feelings about that. Um, I didn't I'm, realize that it had been... It's them now. I mean... Huh. Yeah. It's, uh... It could be fine. Sure. I am just also very anxious about it because it's been that is one of my favorite games uh yes. it might be the game that i have the most hours logged on which i literally is when i think of you i think of risk of rain too and that's weird because we've never played it um i've been trying to but protect it's like you a, like i know that i feel like the moment we start it's either going to be a thing where you fall in as hard as i did or uh, you're so, just gonna no, immediately be like, I don't want to play this. So, like the th everything about it, I'm like, ooh, yes, yeah, this looks cool, yes. But then I'm like, the roguelike thing, like I have a really hard time with roguelikes because I'm like, I'm here, and I want my goods. And I understand some of that carries over, and I have a new person, but I liked my old person or like the old situation. Like I even str like I struggled a lot with Hades. Really? Yes. Not so much. Mostly it was like, I couldn't decide if I wanted to be controller there or keyboard and mouse and didn't know what I wanted. But I still loved it and I yeah. want to go back and play it. But I like, I just, I just like don't like, I think it, me not finding how I wanted to play was partially in, uh, impacted by it being a roguelike because it was like, okay, like how can I play this the best so I'm not resetting myself even though that's part of the journey. Um, I really, like, I really struggle conceptually. Because I just, I want all my things. Oh, well, that makes sense. It's, like, one of the things that, uh, is really difficult for me is when I have, like, good movement, and then I have to go back to base movement. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just so... You're like, oh, I have double jump, or, oh, I'm immune to fall damage, and then you get in a situation where you realize, oh, no, I don't. Yeah. That just reminds me of you and I playing Apex Legends or Fortnite and then being like, wait, which one has fall damage? Yes. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, wait, the cartoony one has more realistic physics. What the heck? Yeah. Uh, we suffer for the things we love on Secret Crush. Yeah, I just saw the, the manual toil. But butterf butterfly good. Yeah. Uh, I need to get back out there and start doing more work in the garden, but uh, it's been storming I, a lot here. I don't know why I thought you were going to say, I just need to get myself back out there and find me a butterfly. Let's... Yeah. But we had been talking about how you've been working outside in the yard. I don't know. I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah. All right. Good news. We're making progress, finally. Hey. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Ooh, steel, steel spear. spear. All right, well, let's get somewhere safe. Ooh, it's Look. an illusion, Michael. Yeah. Oh, is it an? Oh, it's a ladder. But this is where we want to go. Uh, 
That's how tasks be. They will spy roll. Yeah, I love when I sign up to do something I think will be fun and silly and it just becomes labor. Hey, we got another level. We are so powerful. We're so strong. Mm. We can balance out strength. Yeah, that feels good for me. That is kind of my, like, when in doubt, go-to strength. Uh, just because it's such a handy skill, you're always going to be whacking things. Yeah, always be whacking. Always be saving. Did you save? Uh, I did, but not after we added those points, so let's hit it again. And Secret Crush, what are you growing in thy garden? Slash, what, what don't you want to be eating? Lunaga. Is this a Final Fantasy spell? I don't like oh, the, that we have to fight Mothra. The, the slow, like, curl up on itself is real sad. Yeah. So this area always gives me anxiety. Uh, yeah. Because I, there's, yeah. Uh, one, fall damage. But two, you can climb around on these trees. Oh, I do love this. I, I Platforming in first person is a time. I just realized I asked Unseeker Crush a question. Why can't I talk today? I'm just like, my brain is melting. Um, but they are gardening. So. Mm -hmm. Silly me. Oh yeah, this is stressy. Who needs we'll, brains? We will get Not it. me! Okay. Also, this tree section makes me think of the tree house in Ocarina of Time. The lower I you I can get. see that. It, uh, it kind of hits... I forget what it's called. There's a completely optional space in Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. um, that is just like you running up and down tree branches and roots and it's full of basilisks and it's scary. Uh, I get a bit of that from this area, but then we come out here and it opens up and it's very nice. And this oh, does so give beautiful. me big Ocarina of Time vibes with like uh, Kokori what Forest. What is that? Is that a fr friend? Friend? Yeah, these are great. These these things are fine. We love our rabbit bunnies. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I really didn't want them to, like, shapeshift and attack. What's no, that? This motherfucker. Oh, is it, like, a jackalope? Or is it a deer? It's a deer. Uh, oh, and I don't think I have weapons equipped to hurt it. I think I actually have to use magic on it. Like a freaking Patron. Does it have a fox tail? What a jerk. Come on. Uh, it might. Turn your buns around. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell. I think that the uh, masking effect is very cool as a way to represent these, like, magical creatures. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of difficult to, like, parse out their model. Oh, what a jerk. The, the way that all these guys just follow you is uh, intense. Yeah. Get used to it. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna check out this house, take out this mantra. Got a book. Many souls have tried and failed to climb the branches into the outworld, but what if the answer lay below? Mmm! What this book Oopie. presupposes is, what if it didn't? Okay, I'm gonna try and find... I got this goo dagger, but that's not very good. I think our icicle is our best bet, because it at least has a magic effect on it. So I think that I can do some damage to these Yakuls. Go get them, tiger. Mess them up. I'm also going to get this, because it's important. Alas, I gave all my blood to the forest, but it wasn't enough. 
So drama. Yeah. Sucks for them, but we're built different. Um, so yeah, there are... This was kind of one of the things that uh, made me wonder if I had to go to the temple. Because I know that the Blood Drain is a spell that spawns in multiple places. Mm. And it is a spell that you need to navigate this space. I would be fascinated to know what a speedrun of this game looks like. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look up. Hold on, I think Mayday's outside my door now. She calls it a ruckus. Mayday's a true gamer. Oh, just logging on to Valorant, clicking on those heads. Looks like Lunacid any percent is 22 minutes. There's a former world record is a 15. Wow. Well, I'm going to I'm going to speed run. Speed run Adukum leaderboards. Currently, um, someone in Ukraine has the time of 12 minutes and 47 seconds. Wow. I don't know. Also, there's somebody in the uh, United States who goes by the handle Candle Teeth, and I am upset. Mm -hmm. so, but there, um, just if you go to the the Googs and type in speedrun Luna Acid, there are a few um, uh, a few videos that pop up immediately, all mm -hmm. under an hour. So, could be a fun little peek around the internet. So there are these pods, and they don't really do anything, but if we feed it blood, it'll open up for us. The plant life here seems carnivorous. When exposed to fresh blood, the buds bloom. I found some human remains within them as well as a great as gear left behind. Oh. What? I think big oh, ones you're doing have it. to feed it multiple times. Yeah. I uh, thought the leaf hit you and I was like, rude? But I see. Yeah, now we have a way back up. Also, oh. this is what that uh, dork who died was talking about. Oh my god. It's foreboding. Just like it said on those scrolls. Listen, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be real bold right now. Go for it. I think this game's pretty good. It's very good. Yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I said it last time, but Kira does stream. Uh, I believe they stream under just... Maybe it's Akuma Kira? Uh, but they... Uh... I don't think I've ever seen them do any game dev. That's not true. I think I've seen them do game dev a couple times, but uh, mostly they stream games that they are interested in, and it has been very fun to watch them play very bizarre Castlevania games that I have not heard of. Uh, because, like, one, that makes sense, and two, it's a good way of, like, getting some insight into where their inspirations come from. Feast. I'm I'm looking. We got an elfin bow. I'm going to the Twitter to see if I can find a uh, their image is a purple cat with three eyes. Perfect. That's their VTuber avatar. What was the name? Uh, Kira Twitch. or Akuma Kira. I don't know if they were lucky enough to get just Kira. Because that feels like a name that would go very quickly. Yeah. I'm doing some looking. 
Oh, cat with three eyes. Got it. Boom. I will toss this in the chat. Florp. Thank you. Also on Kira's website, there is a Halloween costume generator. Oh. Uh, when I opened it, I got capsized stripper. That's fun. Is something. Oh boy, it's dark down here. I'm going to okay. try again for you, Thank Val, you. and you're going to be a crunchy painting. Oh, we're going to see some of that later. Uh, oh man. Uh, so this place is also a bit of a maze, but it is a little bit more navigable. I do think uh, it would be good for us to put some things into decks so that we can jump a little higher. It makes it easier to navigate this space. Sure. So I think the next time we level up, get out of here. We should uh, think about decks. What are the decks build with our ninja? Okay. I don't think we need magic anymore, so I'm going to switch back to a torch. This place isn't awful, but I don't know how well the lighting translates on the uh, stream. But we got these fellas. Love it. bit brighter on stream which is good yeah so we can explore the space but also we gotta pay him blood mm. force demand sacrifices i think this is actually the area where i first discovered the secret walls Ooh, and then okay. it's like, oh right, that's a thing Kira likes. And then had to go back through all of the previous areas and rub my face all over everything. Mm. It's a trap. When in doubt, rub your face. Gerald's <laughs> our sweet boy. We are really leaning into some vibes here. I like that uh, I can apply the lessons I learned from point-and-click adventure games have just rub everything together on everything <laughs> to my action adventure games. Yeah. Alright, there's gotta be a secret in here. Wow, there is it. What the heck? Needs some experience. Does it get bigger, like bigger flame? Uh, it, it definitely gets a, a different weapon. I don't know if it gets bigger, or if it just does more damage. Got gotcha. you. Uh, this may just be a really silly side track. Uh, okay, I think we've been everywhere up here, more or less. So let's go down this ominous glowing hole. than fighting something that's actually capable of killing me. Mm -hmm. What's back here? Ooh, piece of candy. Alright, that's fun. So we got Earth Strike from a dude who got crushed to death by rocks. Hmm. Launches an earthen boulder at the enemy. A simple but effective technique. 
oopsies, you know? Yeah. It's like, uh, why should I bother using magic when the earth will crush my enemies for free? Let's look around down here a little more. I'm like waiting for like a manticore or something awful to be just like, hey, what's up? I think we're safe here. Oh. Okay. So it seems like we did everything or almost everything down here. Uh, but yeah, there are a couple places throughout this game where it's just kind of like, hey, surprise. Uh, here's a new terrible monster in an area that's not great to fight in. <laughs> then you have to go through and figure it out. I don't know why I just thought of nightmare creatures on the Nintendo 64, right? Nintendo 64? Yeah. Yeah, just thought of that bad boy. What a game. I never played it. I wanted to because it looked like a Tomb Raider but with monsters, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say with monsters and then I was like, there are monsters in Tomb Raider. So I, yeah. kind of, I don't know how to parse that, but yeah. This is a big hole. go down holes. Mm, this feels familiar. I'm glad it feels familiar to you. It's absolutely not for me. I think that's one of the uh, challenges for this game is that the areas that are man-made I feel like are pretty easy to navigate. They follow the logic of how you build a space. Yeah. The natural open areas are very hard for me to remember and like cognitively map. Let's do a safety heal. This is the entrance. My, my grasp of this space would also be better if I was the one navigating through it, you know? Like, yeah. I would have the muscle memory. Hello, robot spacer. Hello, hello. We've talked about you. Ah, uh, here we go. You're in trouble. Turn back. Nothing but darkness ahead. Cool, we have a torch. Whee! Uh... Yeah, I don't I don't think Gerald likes being told what to do. No. That's canon. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna see what we find, and we find a door. <laughs> oh, I thought those were eyes. Hated it. I'm trying to think if this is a boss. Because if it is, I don't know that we're ready. That's fun. Mm. 
this is inviting. Oh, right, this place. Okay. This place is very cool, and we should find a save spot. Like, now. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, like the three fires of Prometheus, only then shall vision be restored. Nope, nope, means... nope. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Entrance? Okay. Entrance is a good place for a safe spot. Does, does the host have a safe spot? Find out. Hey, it's Bonard. You mean Boner. Got him. Roasted. Peasant Graves, Common Crips. Hey, buddy. Oh. We're not happy about what you did to Julisha. You should have at least told her in person. Like she was gonna go onto that ledge and find a book. Yeah. She's busy. Huh. I sure would like that door to be open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we gotta keep moving. Yeah, it's funny because I'm pretty sure the first time I came in here, it was a different way. Uh, so this is... I, I don't want to say new because I have been everywhere in this area, but... It is a way that I was not familiar with getting here. Mm. Get another. I was gonna say, you're not doing a lot of face rubbing. There we go. Oh. Yo, 100 currency. Uh, in part, I kinda just wanna find a safe spot. Uh, and partially because we are getting close to the end of our time with uh, today's stream, but also... I, I think that should be our objective, because this is spoopy. It is spoopy. This place is very cool and also pretty unnerving. I'm excited to explore it more. That's bad. That's bad. That doesn't seem good. Uh, because it's kind of hard to tell, I will fill us in. There are invisible monsters in this area. And they can be kind of rough. So that's what we're hearing. That's the little, like, pink thing that we are seeing. Oh, okay, that's what the... Okay. But we're just gonna use... Safety Homeward Bone. Get us somewhere Heart. safe. Do a quick save. Uh, let's see if we can load. Can we, hey, we still go back to that area? with, Or do we have to go back through the forest to get there since we don't have a crystal? Um, I am going to look up the different ways to get there and... The next time that we stream the Lunacid, I will have it set so that uh, we are either already there or uh, I've unlocked the fast travel to there. Neat. So yeah, going through the forest again would take us a while just because that area is a bit of a maze, but I think that if we put... Uh, our points into decks, we can bypass some of the uh, stuff because we can just jump higher, which also reminds me we should get that potion. Potion? That secret potion. I forgot we didn't potion. get it with our favorite lad here. Yeah. But you're almost being obstinate. There we go. So we did a surprising amount today. Uh, it's kind of hard to be like, you did a lot, because there aren't a ton of quests in this game. 
-hmm. but we made it through several zones. We got some new bonfires lit up. Uh, let's take a look at that. All right. We're okay. And then we'll hit the uh, Accursed Tomb, which I think is here pretty soon. So we're, we are making a decent clip. Uh, I will probably do another grinding session so that we start off overpowered. Uh, cool. But I think that we... This is moving much more quickly than I thought it would. Mm. And I, as I told you, like I think part of that is because when I discovered the secret walls, I went back and rubbed my face on everything and I spent so much time wandering around and just like trying to find stuff but now that i know yeah. a little bit more how to direct things i think uh we can probably keep moving at a decent pace heck yeah you love to see it yeah uh but yeah i think that that is it i'm gonna move us over to uh chatting yeah i think uh well i i feel like we're gonna be doing more lunacid i feel like we're gonna keep keep that party going, um, but our next game, whether it's if we want to be timely with next week's stream or not, um, we'll be playing Crow Crunch, Crow Country, which is hard to say out loud. It is. I can I can type it. Crow. I Crow also uh, keep falling back on Crow County. Crow County is easier. Crow County is much easier. It's that R. It's tricky. Crow Country, crunchy. Uh, so that will be my first game in the Nostalgia Fueled Entertainment stream, and that's because uh, I would not play it alone because I'm a scared little baby. Yeah, but I'm excited. We all, we all will enjoy it together. I'm excited to both play that and watch you play it as somebody who is a really big fan of the Resident Evil series. Mm -hmm. um, and having played the demo, I don't think that it's terribly scary. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this, like, hits a happy medium of producing enough anxiety to be fun and interesting but also not totally. so much that you're like i'm out and it, it'll be interesting too just when it, when we get to play it that like i've never played a resident evil game because i am a baby uh mostly because it's not that it's scary but the 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 jump scares and i really hate like with mr x like you are not in control right mm -hmm. like like a lot of, it's be, I just I want to be able to save when I want <laughs> move around safely when I want um, so it just triggers anxiety in a way that I find not super cool um, but it'll be cool to play the game because I'm familiar with the mechanics enough as like watching but watching and playing is two different um, means of playing or experiencing a game so I'm going to be interested to see like what I have picked up through osmosis of these types of titles. Uh, and then like, I'm probably going to rely on Val a bit to survive. You'll do fine. I believe in you. Gerald yeah. believes in you. Gerald. It is, I do it all for Gerald. And yes, yep. it comes out tomorrow. So that's why we're debating on what we're going to do next week just to be somewhat functional and in the zeitgeist. But also, we're all about nostalgia, so... What's not next week is the following week's nostalgia. Am I right? You're right. When it's you're right, you're right. Like <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that it would be fun to do it at launch or, you know, close to launch. Um, yeah. I think in part because there's not <clears throat> a lot of a story to this, part of me is like, all right, we should keep with Lunacid, but I even think just having you alternating week still works uh right but yeah we can we're flexible we'll make that work yeah you know Yo. what everything's a playlist you can curate exactly congrats on the butterfly spotting secret crush that's so good you saw another butterfly so good i'm glad that we could be here with you as you experience it all right well, we're going to wrap up, and I, too, am going to go outside. Thank you all for joining us. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Right.